a kind of, you know, surreal type of place. Uh, remember, this is the only place in the world like it. If you come to America, you have to come to Las Vegas. It's one of the stops you have to make. You know, and it's now on the big three stops for a lot of tourists coming in. And I think now there's so much to do for everybody. You don't only have to gamble. You can have breakfast in New York, lunch in Venice, and dinner at Paris, and never leave the block. There's no place like it in the world. When you think about the infrastructure of the Las Vegas Strip, you have approximately five miles of all hotels, casinos, how many sound stages, entertainment, talented people up and down from showgirls and musicians and special effects. And now, you know, with all the big shows, the Cirque du Soleil's and, and everything else, it's just, it's pretty amazing to have that amount of entertainment in a five mile radius with 140,000 hotel rooms and all the shopping to be combined in that space is there's no place like it in the world. That magic seems to, it's really contagious. People aren't coming here. You got to get more people coming here, which is tough because um, people have less money, so they have less to spend on things like trips to Vegas. So it looks kind of difficult in the next couple years. We hit the the slump that we're in now. Now we've hit slumps before, and and you know I I, I, I may sound a bit too sanguine, but I have no doubt that we'll come through this as well. A lot of cities in the history of the world have declined. A lot of resort cities have declined in the history of the world. So there's no reason to think that that might not happen in Vegas. You know, the key is that the people in Vegas have to keep on innovating, have to keep on doing new things, have to keep on changing to keep up with the times. And so far, they've done a pretty good job of doing that. You can't help live here and be in business here and entertain here and be here for any period of time that that, that, that visionary creativity, the sky's the limit, 
okay, we've done that. What else can we do beyond that now? Um, you know, if you're going to build that, the, the stratosphere, um, yeah, I think I'll build a 900 foot tall tower on the strip. What would you put on the top of it? A roller coaster, of course, you know, or the X ride. Yeah. I would have to say that Las Vegas is the most exciting place on the planet for entertainment, for tourism, and for business big time, really big time. We're an international, on the brink of being an international financial mecca. And as long as we maintain that entrepreneurial free enterprise spirit that Nevada truly believes in, we're going to continue to grow. You know, you have basically, what, 45, close to 50 casinos here in a small area, and they all are like a city to themselves. There's so many different things. You have everything from King Arthur's Courts to the pyramids to an Italian, Italian villa to the Roman Empire. You have all kinds of different themes, but essentially, this is Vegas. And people come here because it's fun. That's the number one thing. Vegas has always been fun. Two, it's got great value, okay? And three, you got, you got some of the greatest things. You have the, the most amazing hotels in the world, spas, entertainment, food. And I'm not even talking about things like, oh, I want to gamble. You can gamble. I mean, you can go gamble pretty much around anywhere in the world now to a certain, certain degree. Here you come because of the whole Vegas experience. People are going to have to come to Mecca. You know, if you if you're going to if you're going to gamble, this is where you come. Back then it was called CASBAH. It was built in 1965, and I think around 91 or 92, Ann Myers changed the name to the Queen of Hearts Hotel. And I remember it being uh, kind of rough in the, in the 90s. I was there in the lobby when somebody on a drug deal got shot and killed in the head right in front of me. I said, uh, time to maybe leave. When I, when I got to Vegas in the 80s, the first motel I stayed in was the Queen of Hearts. There's a nice motel, nice cocktail lounge, and the people were friendly. I, 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 I liked it. I, it was nice. First experience in Vegas. I liked the place. To me, this is like a landmark. This, is, this probably is a landmark, you know? Yeah, so you know, you're always sad to see landmarks go.